I just realized how terribly this shirt dress matches with my makeup. This makeup was supposed to be simple when I started and then I got a hold of this It's My Pleasure ColourPop palette and I was like, oh lord, I need that on my face. So, hi guys, welcome friends, family, and foe. Uh, so today, uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a try on haul. I um, was watching Rob Beauty Christie's channel the other day and I thought the video where she kind of picked apart the clothing that she bought, um, showing how it looks like on the models on the website versus how it actually wears was eye-opening and fun and it's always it's always the same way for me like i'll like buy something online and it looks freaking amazing on the model and then i get it and i put it on and i'm just like huh or sometimes it will go really well but today i wanted to feature nasty gal because um, a few years ago, I purchased, Nast this was when Nasty Gal was more expensive. Nasty Gal has now been purchased by, I think it was Pretty Little Thing, if I'm not mistaken, don't quote me, but they were purchased by a website that sells more um, inexpensive clothing, and they dropped all their prices. So I don't know if the clothing stayed the same or got better or worse. But a few years ago, when Nasty Gal's prices were still jacked way the F up, I purchased um, uh, some stuff and I had some stuff on my wish list for Christmas. And you know, like a shirt was like $80. Um, and to me, that's kind of expensive. Unless I'm buying like a designer or something or other, like I'm not spending $80 on a shirt unless it's like a nice sweater or something freaking cool. But I'm like yelling at my microphone. Tone it down a it's just a Saturday. I take this outfit up to LA to go to an event. I can't remember, if, I think it was a dress. Um, I put it on and one sleeve was normal and one sleeve was like super short, like eight inches shorter than the other one. It was insane. And so I was just like, oh hell no, did I just pay $120 for this freaking dress? Um, or I got it for Christmas time, I can't remember. And one of the sleeves is like that much short. I get accidents happen, but this wasn't the only time this has happened with me with Nasty Gal when their prices were more expensive. I even like got stuff and a button fell off like the day after. So I was just like, okay, so it's made really poorly and it's just crap. So at least now the prices, you know, for, a $15, $20, $25 shirt, I wouldn't be as annoyed. It'd be like, all right, I'm, 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 I got this, I got this. I got a sew kit, I'm gonna put that back on, no big deal. So I spent almost, um, I spent about $450 on their website and um, the shipping situation was not great. So I get this like notice on my door that there's two Royal Mail, um, I guess they ship from the UK, which makes sense because Pretty Little Thing is based in the UK. Um, I believe. And so I was just like, oh, it needs, a, th whatever this package is, needs a 21 plus signature. And I'm like, what in the world? Like, so then I'm like, oh, cause I had purchased a few things from different sites and I was like, I forgot about the package. I was like, oh my gosh, that's where that stuff is. And I'm trying to find, like, I was like looking to wear and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, so this must be the nasty gal package that the notice is for. And so I, had to call the USPS, sit on the phone for about 50 minutes, nothing new. Um, and then I said, you know, hey, I don't wanna sign for this. Like, just leave it on my doorstep. I, le I live in a, you know, a suburban neighborhood. It's gonna be fine. Like, there's a little alcove by my door. Everything's gonna be fine. I've never had to sign for a clothing package before ever, um, unless it was like an $800 pair of designer shoes, which I haven't bought for like years. So, um, that was weird. So then she says that they're gonna deliver it the next day, but it ended up still needing a signature. So thank God someone was here. Um, I had Nancy, my housekeeper here, uh, to sign for it. And you know, it's just so stupid that you had to sign for the package. Anyways, so someone made a mistake at Nasty Gal. Um, but I got the package fairly quickly. I was impressed. So today we're gonna try on what I got. Um, there are some swimsuits, there are some dresses, there are some shoes. I would like to walk in the shoes, see if they hurt my shin, like if they're gonna like break in at all. Um, so I spent $450 and I wanted to try this on, kind of how Rob Beauty Chrissy did and put the picture from the website on the video while I'm trying it on because I just loved that um, aspect of being able to see kind of how it looks versus, you know, how it looks on someone that's not 
you know, having studio lighting and like all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and try this. Um, a lot of dresses don't work for me because I'm very flat chested and um, even like what looks like a small cup will usually be kind of like large and just like, it's just I'm like, I can't even fill this out. So <laughs> I would really love a line for people with flat chests. Can somebody get on that? Cause all the websites are featuring a lot of curvy girls are really stick skinny models, um, but they still have some boobs. Like I need some dresses for flat chested ladies as well. Please add that to the mix. I would really, really love that. Thank you. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna switch over my vlog camera so the, the sound, the lighting is not gonna be as good. We're just gonna have to deal with it, but let's get into this. Here is outfit number one. Um, I see that this is currently on sale for $25. Let's see if I paid 50 or 25. Okay, I paid $23 um, for this and I don't have quite enough hips to fill this out so it's kind of a little weird. I think I need a smaller size. It does look pretty cute though. Um, I think I'm gonna have to get a, a different size though. This is a size eight. The model wears a size six and I was like, mm, I have size, I wear size 30 pants, so I'm probably gonna be an eight, but I think I could go a little bit smaller, but it's pretty cute. I literally have slippers on with this. It's, that's not cute. This is not cute down here, except for Frankie. You're cute. <laughs> you just scratched all my legs up, but. Say hi to everybody. Little tail. Is your little tail happy? <laughs> So yeah, gonna return this bad boy for a six um, because it goes from a six to an eight. So I guess I'm the same size as the model on the website. <laughs> this diet's paying off. Here is the next item. I don't know if you can tell, it is a little set. Um, I actually really think this is super cute. Um, this was Originally $75, but it is currently 50% off, so I paid 35. I think there's like, all, it's like pretty little thing. There's like always codes for a really nice discount. I like um, where the skirt hits um, and the shirt. It's pretty cute. This is, there's two sizes. There's a small and medium, and this is the medium large. So if your waist is a whole lot bigger than mine, um, I don't think even this, I don't think this would work. There's like a little string of material in here that's not stretchy. Like the top of this is, and then there's a string down here that, that's not super stretchy. So if you, I would say if you're like usually a large, I feel like this wouldn't necessarily fit a large. So I feel like they should have a size up. Um, but overall, I think this is really cute. The boots I'm about to show you, I also got with um that I, I got in my order to wear actually with this exact outfit so let me put them on so these are the boots that i got to wear with this skirt these are originally 80 dollars. i got them for 40 dollars because they're currently 50 percent off um these feel like they're gonna hurt your um hi they feel like they're gonna, they're already putting a mark in my leg right here and they're not made out of leather. So I really don't think that they're gonna stretch out. Also, this is really tight on my foot right here on both sides. Like I need this to be bigger. Um, so if you have like kind of bigger feet like I do, I don't know if these would work for you. I think you have to have pretty petite feet for these. They're made out of 82% polyester and 18% elastane and the lining is 100% polyester. So I don't know, I, I'm gonna have to do a little, excuse me, can you guys both get your buttholes out of my shot? So I don't know if they'll actually stretch out, but I think they're super cute. Um, if they could, if they did stretch out then, and you know, got a little better here and a little looser, then these could be really cool. Um, I tend to not try and cheap it with boots and shoes because uh, you just, you really get what you pay for, unless it's like a little slide on slippy shoe, but thought I'd give this a chance, so eh. Next we have this, um, this is called the Do, Be Do You Believe Tartan Coat. Um, Leo's trying to eat the rest of food that's in there. So online this looks a lot nicer than it is in person. Um, they just like steamed it and fluffed it up and made it look kind of nice. Um, it was originally $100, which is asinine. This does not feel, this feels like a shirt. 
Um, I would never pay $100 for this. Um, I think when I got it, it was $50. This one's out of stock right now. There's probably a lot of disappointed people out there. <laughs> but let's try this on. There's like little shoulder pads in here. Just... So, okay, oh, those are fake pockets. Just kidding. <laughs> um, here we go. Obviously, it doesn't really go with this outfit. The model has it on with something that would, you know, you'd wear it with a little more, but I would say like this isn't gonna really keep you very warm. So if you live in San Diego, this might work for you. Um, maybe for a little OOTD, but if you're thinking about using these pockets, don't, because they're fake. I need like a little like a fanny pack thing right here too or something. Not terrible, not terrible. Um, it's a little short on my arms, like could be just a smidge longer. Like I feel like I'm in like a raincoat that doesn't fit. <laughs> we'll see how we can uh, get this one styled up a little better. But you know, not terrible, but I definitely would not pay $100 for this. I need to go look at this in the mirror first. <laughs> Okay, so this is called the Big Love Paisley Crop Top, and it is, was 36, it's 18, and the Big Love Paisley Shorts. Um, these are $12, they definitely feel like they're $12. This is um, not quite long enough for me in the sleeve area. See how high that goes up compared to the model? It looks like all like flowy and nice on her, but I guess my arms are just too long. So I end up with this, it's cute. Um, this isn't terrible, but it feels like super cheap. Uh, I think I would wear this maybe for like a picture, then maybe like a couple hours somewhere, but I can't see myself wearing this for any longer than that. Like if you were gonna go to Coachella on this, I think you'd be extremely uncomfortable. Um, also, I can't lift my arms up more than this. It's like, pulling right here like super super tight so it's just really cheaply made you know cool for a photo shoot maybe but real life more than two hours i don't think so i don't think so here we go this is okay so i'm trying to yeah this is cute i mean it was 15 dollars for the set originally 30. um it feels you know pretty these feel kind of cheap, um, but it's cute. I like this. It definitely screamed Kristen, so I was like, I need this. I'll keep this. This one is called the String Along Strappy Dress. They got really creative with the title. This gets really weird after a minute. How does that look, guys? How does that look, guys? There is assembly required. You are not gonna be able to put this thing on to uh, like alone. Like someone needs to straighten all these straps out. I had to like put all these through here and then try and tie it. I mean, in theory, this is like a cool dress and like good from far, far from good, but this starts to like come down all weird because I don't have any boobs to fill it in, I guess. Um, so like in theory, this could be kind of cool. It's also very uh, nipply. <laughs> so, I don't know about this one. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this area is a little worrisome. But um, I'm also a little annoyed because it's currently $20 and I paid $27. Um, but this does not feel originally $40. This does not feel like a $40 dress. It feels very cheap. Um, I feel like it could fall off at any moment. I think I might return this one. Okay, so this dress, um, is actually really cute and fits pretty well. The only thing is the slip underneath feels like it's got built-in shapewear because it's extra tight. These are way too tight on my arms. I don't know if you can see the mark that <laughs> it's already left. I've only had it on for a few minutes, so that's gonna like cut off the circulation after a little while. Um, it has like little sticky stuff here, so it kind of stays up on my flat chest, which is great. And it is definitely meant for someone with a smaller chest. I would say there's a little bit of padding in here. So like if you have a larger chest, I don't think that this would be the right dress for you. I think this would just literally fall off. But um, this is cute. The, the thing here is that this is actually not a Nasty Gal item. All of the other items I believe uh, were, other than the shoes, branded Nasty Gal. This is actually called Vera something. So it's not even a Nasty Gal piece. 
it's by someone else. So it feels a little bit better than the other stuff that I've worn. Like the last dress was the Nasty Gal, the white one. And that material felt like total garbage. Um, whereas this feels good. I would actually wear this out to a party. Um, we're going to a Broadway show in New York. Maybe I'll wear this there, but only if I want to freeze in New York. I keep forgetting how cold it is in New York right now. But yeah, this is pretty cute. This is like good opportunity for like a cool necklace or some glitter too. So I'm feeling this. What I have on right now is the Shed a Tear Ruffle Midi Dress. It's $25. Let me turn the camera a little bit. You definitely would have to wear some pasties with this, like in case, you know, in case like <laughs> one of your tits slipped out, slipped out, because this is kind of open. It's pretty open. I would even wear like almost little shorts with it underneath. But I think this would be really cute with some docks. Um, yeah, I like this. This is cool. So this piece is like an actual two piece, so you can buy a different size top than you can the bottom, which is what I did. Um, so the bottom was $22, and this is a size eight. It's extremely tight on my butt, like it's pressing my butt down. So if you have any sort of a butt, size up. Um, but this fits up here pretty good. The top is a size six, and it, it was $20. Um, finally sleeves that are kind of like long enough for me. So I think this is actually really cute It's a little uncomfortable in the butt because it is tight and it's pulling like right here and here It's like flattening my butt a little bit um, but I Think this is like it's pretty cute It's obviously cheaply made but you know, I would wear this like a picnic or something like Cool like that. I don't know. Anybody want to invite me to a picnic? So this is a bodysuit. Um, first when I put it on, I was like, oh, is this supposed to be a bathing suit? Because this is so thin, like when this gets wet. But it's supposed to be a bodysuit. So I actually think this is really cute. It's slightly tight on my neck, but I mean, it's wrapped around your neck. What are you gonna, what do you, what do you expect? So this was $14. Um, I really like this. I think this is really cool. I love how it showcases my diamond tattoo. So I think this would be super, super cute with, um, literally anything you can wear this with like high-waisted jeans or even like a tight like faux leather skirt would be really cute they have it with some cute little pants so you could wear this like a bunch of different ways um or you could just you know go on public like this whatever whatever your little heart desires you know <laughs> you only live once make it happen but this is cute i'm gonna keep this um it's currently on the website for $12. So they just like switch their prices all up like all the time, like no rhyme, no reason. So I tried it with this one. Um, this, <laughs> it, I feel like I'm ready to like do like an 80s like workout video. Um, this is too tight. My torso is just too long for this. It's pulling right here. This area is super, super tight, um, a little too tight. Uh, you can adjust these, but I mean, if I if this went down any lower, you're just gonna see my nipples. So this is actually a size six. Um, this little tie thing is annoying. These are kind of cutting into me. This could be cute on the right body type, but I just don't think that this was made for my body. Um, maybe if I loosen the straps, I could get away with this, but I also noticed that this is even cutting into the model a little bit on the side. So I think this is just a little too tight for anybody. Um, and I don't know, this was $22, maybe a size eight would have been the way to go. Um, I feel like a size eight would have been too baggy, like right in the center right here though. So I don't know. I just feel like I'm about to do some eighties, like aerobics, but I also feel like an eighties porn star in this. Um, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little much. By the way, you did an excellent job. Thank you. I think I'll be returning this bad boy. Last but not least, I'm into lace bodysuit. Um, I don't think I'd necessarily pair it with a skirt, but it's what I had. Um, maybe some high-waisted jeans. I really like this. I think this is super cute. It's actually perfect for itty bitty titty committee. Like, I know you guys are looking for my nipples. <laughs> I put some pasties on so that YouTube doesn't uh, exile my video to the depths of hell. Um, I love this little strap right here with the lace. I think this is super cute It's a uh, a little little tiny tight um, For me like right here just a tiny bit, but um, this is a size medium 
and I think this is really cute. I'm gonna keep this. I am excited to wear this with like a high-waisted like black skirt or like a faux leather skirt or like some high-waisted black shorts and some docks or something. I think this is really cute. Um, I just like love this little strappy and I'm so freaking excited that this fits my little bitty titties. Finally, like usually when I put on something like this, like there's all this extra like um, fabric right here and it just doesn't work. So this is super cute, I'm loving this. Although I will say that this looks completely different on the website. Um, I don't know, is it just me or like, maybe she's more tan than I am, but like this just looks way darker and like less see-through-ish. Um, whereas this is like a stark difference between the black and this for me. Maybe it's just cause she has more of a tan or something. I don't really know. Is this the girl that was on The Bachelor? I'm like looking at my computer over here. I don't think it was, but <laughs> one of them that models for one of these sites totally was, but yes, this is super cute. Love it. Okay, so I've got two items on here. These are not paired together on the website, but I just thought it was cute and I thought I might as well kill two birds with one stone. Let me tilt you guys down so you can see the skirt a little better. Um, this is a size eight. It doesn't have a hook and eye, so I don't know how well that will stay up, but I think this is really cute. It feels like really cheap, obviously, but I think that it gets the job done. I would definitely wear this out. Do you like the socks though? The socks are like really adding to, I've had these on the whole time. <laughs> um, it's really adding to this. So yeah, this fits pretty well. Like it's, it's a little bit loose, um, but I feel like when I sit down, if I got anything like smaller, it would be uncomfortable. This was $22.50. And then this sweater, I really like this sweater actually. Um, it feels comfy. I feel like if it was like hot at all though, like this would just not be a good one. But I paid $28 for this. This is the medium large. Um, I just, I like these kinds of sweaters cut, cropped right here because you can wear so many different things with them. You can wear like liquid leggings, you can wear high-waisted jeans, you can wear skirts like this. Um, so I think this is a really cute sweater. I like kind of how it has this little detail right here. It makes it look more expansive. Definitely need to wear some little pasty covers with this, but yeah, super cute. My hair is looking a damn mess. I'm actually getting my hair done today, which is why I don't really care what it looks like. So final thoughts. Uh, I wasn't like super overly excited about anything um, except the bodysuit and that skirt and the sweater. Uh, those were okay. I, like I like them, I'm into them, I'm gonna keep them. But I think overall, I would just rather go to Nordstrom and pay like double the price for everything I bought and have something that's a little more substantial that fits a little better, feels a little better when I'm wearing it. So I think that it is good if you are on a very, 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 very tight budget and you'd rather get more for your money. But you just have to understand that like, I feel like you're gonna be losing a lot of money too because like I, the things that I'm gonna ship back, they're gonna charge me for shipping to and from, I'm sure. And at the end of the day, I might as well just keep it and just eat the money because it's not really gonna be worth it. Um, so this isn't a site that I would go to to shop. Like I wouldn't be like, okay. Like sometimes I'll do that with misguided. I'll go to misguided and I'll be like, all right, I'm going to shop. Like we're going to shop. We're going to pick out some things or I'll go to, you know, Nordstrom, whatever. This is more so the place that like, if I saw something I really liked, um, then I would purchase it knowing that it may not fit well. So Overall, not super impressed with anything. Um, I think the clothing has actually gotten worse uh, than it did w than it was when it was more expensive. Um, the, the clothing seems to be made extremely cheap, very thin materials, um, kind of janky zippers. So, I mean, some of the things in there I will wear, but do I wish that I had found it at a little higher of a priced store that would maybe last me a little longer and fit better and feel better? Um, as far as like the fabric goes and the fit, yes. I wish that um, I would have spent $450 at Nordstrom instead of Nasty Gal. So um, also I did buy a couple, I bought um, some necklaces, a couple necklaces and earrings, which I'll link in the description box below for you guys. Um, I just, they're cheap jewelry, they're, they're cute, but um, actually, you know what, you guys probably wanna see them, let me get them. Okay, so I bought three jewelry pieces, which were extremely affordable, and I love me some cheap jewelry, so I, I don't mind at all. 
These earrings are just some like little gold hoops. Uh, little. <laughs> they're huge. Uh, they're five dollars. And they have these little backs, which don't work because I have my ears stretched a long time ago. So I have to put the bigger backs in there. But this is kind of heavy too, actually. Those were $5. And then I actually really like these necklaces. I don't like wear necklaces like in the water and stuff. So I don't really typically need necklaces to be super expensive, but this was $8. And it comes with all of these, which I like, because I feel like you always have to buy like 700 necklaces to like layer them up to look like Instagram models or whatever the frick you're trying to go for. Like I'm usually trying to like love that layered look, but like I'm like, ugh. Are these gonna go together? So they, they they took out the guesswork for you and they just put them all together and this was only $8 and it's like really glittery and pretty. So I'm gonna take that to Mexico with me next month to wear. This one is has a couple, this one was also $8. Um, this has a couple different like clasps actually. As you can see, there's a clasp down here and one up here so that you can take off some of the layers if you don't wanna wear all of them but um, then you have the chance of this showing a little more and people are gonna be like, your dick's showing. <laughs> that old chestnut. So I think this is really cute too. I actually like the other one I got better, but this is cute too. I think that I would definitely go back and buy um, jewelry on there, like earrings and necklaces and stuff, because like I said, I don't typically buy expensive jewelry. I kind of just buy cheap jewelry and then when it breaks, it breaks and then I get something new because I get sick of stuff quick. So that's just how I roll. So those are my final thoughts uh, on Nasty Gal. I think that they have gotten worse with the clothing quality, but um, hey, you know, I just, I don't think I'd spend my money there again. I, like I said, I would just rather spend just a little bit more money and get something that's just better quality overall. So what did you guys think? Have you purchased from Nasty Gal recently? How was your experience? I'm interested to hear if like, did they like make you sign for your package too? Let me know. Um, thanks for watching guys. And if you wanna see more of these, um, let me know as well by giving this video a thumbs up so I know you guys liked this kind of video and letting me know in the comments. I think this was fun. I definitely need to get better at it. I'm like, I always forget to say the pricing and the size. Like, I'm so terrible at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a freaking amazing day. Make today amazing. It's up to you.